<laughs> I know a lot of you guys, this is gonna add fuel for you Ducati haters out there. But let me show you here. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Look at this. I go to use the front, the rear brake, nothing. Look at that. Nothing. All I did was wash this bike. So it ain't nothing I did wrong, man. <laughs> You know, I will tell you, first off, I will preface this video by stating that I think Ducati makes some of the most beautiful motorcycles and they make the most edgy motorcycles. I mean, they're they're always pushing the limits with power, um, you know, reduced weight, just uh, a really aggressive and cool motorcycles. But I'm going to tell you guys, Ducati has a lot of problems and I'll probably never buy another one. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why they suck. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. For those of you guys who want to get some really awesome gear, I have links to all my gear, like my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe, Sadichi jacket, shorty gloves, boots, all my stuff. I always have links in the description and comment section of my videos. Yeah, that crop of exhaust sounding proper, boy. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I know there's going to be a lot of a viewers probably leave a comment and they're gonna hate on me for hating on Ducati it's not that I'm really trying to hate on them I'm trying to provide constructive criticism hopefully they can become a better company and they have become a better company as far as making their bikes a little bit more reliable than they used to be so don't get me wrong it's not total crap with Ducati and like I said guys they have a, I wish ja Japan would hire their designers <laughs> because the Italians have the best designers. They make the sickest looking bikes. They do, man. And they're fast, too. They're fun bikes. They have soul in them. They do. I love that Ducati XD Avail that I owned. It had a lot of soul, and it was a really fun and comfortable bike to ride out here on the streets. Amazing. Then you got that torque. Look at here, we got some twist action out here. <laughs> I, I often thought about getting another one. You know, defensive riding 101, guys. They, they can't see you, let them hear you. Let them hear you. Use that throttle. Keep you safe out here, baby boy. But, yeah, sounding proper. But, the problem is, is that Ducati needs to do more R&D, you know, research and development or something with their bikes before they roll out their bikes. Because I'll tell you, every first year bike with Ducati has, you can guarantee you there's gonna be problems. My, that 2016 Ducati X Javel that I own was the first year of, of, for that bike and I bought it a year later. You think all the, the recalls would have been done and the bike would have been proper. When I got the bike, first thing that the rear brake goes out, man. I mean, that's dangerous. <laughs> and that bike has had some other, a bunch of other issues too, you know, it's, um, it's a shame because if that bike were super reliable, I probably would have bought another one, man. And, and they have a host of problems with a lot of their bikes. And the, the bad part is, is that their dealership support really sucks. I mean, if you find a good dealer, there's good dealers out there, don't get me wrong. When I mean dealership support, I mean the qu quantity of dealers that they have is very weak. They got rid of the one here in Akron, went out of business for whatever reason, and they said they were going to replace it. That was a long time ago. They haven't replaced it with nothing, man. There's no way I'm going to go all the way to Columbus, which is like, I don't know, a good two and a half hours from me, to go and... Uh, you know take a bike to the dealership i ain't going at the that's crazy and you're gonna and you're going to have to take your bike to the dealership guaranteed <laughs> guaranteed man it's gonna have some problems and uh unless you don't ride it that much if you're one of those just ride it up and down the street to look cool then i don't know you may be okay <laughs> 
but uh, some people out there will, will claim that they, they have a reliable you know Ducati and hey more power to you man but I tell you another thing that's really bad is their part prices are extremely high and you have to have oftentimes you have to have them shipped from Italy you know they don't stock a whole lot of parts man for for Ducati uh, so it's not like the Japanese bike where you can just pop on eBay or somewhere and just and easily get a part you know the Italian parts sometimes are hard to come by same with a Priya that's another reason why I got rid of that Aprilia Tuano. I was experiencing problems with that Aprilia Tuano, man. I didn't tell you guys about is that every now and then it would shudder like it was going to go into limp mode again. Oh, no. Come on. Because as you guys know, that when I first got that bike, it went into limp mode, which I didn't know what limp mode was. This is bull, man. But I soon found out and uh it was crazy but and they they just said it was, they updated the software and tightened the cables on the battery and somehow that corrected it but and but i still had the shuttering every now and then i just didn't say nothing i got rid of the bike man but uh ducati as far as ducati yeah i just honestly the bikes are really expensive for that price that you're paying for that bike and the maintenance you have to do on that bike it should be more reliable man until they get to the point where they can be reliable as Japan's bikes, I probably won't get another Ducati. Um, and it's a shame, man, because I love to support the, the smaller motorcycle companies like that. Because um, they, they have true pride in their work and, and true pride in their brand. I love that about Ducati. Uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not this total hater of them. Um, but for cheap people like me, you know, if I had a ton of money, if I was part of the one percenters, then it wouldn't be, a, you know, I, I, you wouldn't hear me complain. I'd have me a, a several Ducatis, you know what I'm saying? But even then, you, you have to take the time to take them to the dealership, which is annoying. You know, that's how I like these Japanese bikes. <laughs> Woo, that talk, baby. I love it. <laughs> They're reliable. They're going to keep you riding. You know what I'm saying? Now, I just want to tell you guys that I had a great experience with that Ducati dealership that was here in Northeast Ohio when it was here so I'm not I'm not hating on them at all they took care of me man they were good they're good people um, like I said the company is filled with good loyal brand loyal and people that really love motorcycles that's that's what I love about Ducati um, and I wish them well like I said this is not a hater video this is constructive criticism I wish there was just some way that they can find a way to uh, make their bikes much more reliable, man. So we don't have to, you know, pay all that money in maintenance and, and expensive parts and stuff like that. And, but Ducatis, just like uh, Rolls Royces, are not for cheap people. <laughs> Bentleys aren't for cheap people like me, you know what I'm saying? And I guess you'll probably say the same thing. You shouldn't be on a Ducati if you can't afford it. And that, that's probably that's the truth. But I'm just, I'm just sharing my opinion and experience. Share yours. What do you guys think about Ducati? Um, leave a comment below. That's why I do these videos to help incite community discussion. I appreciate all you guys, man. And uh, like I said, I have an appreciation for all the motorcycles. And... Uh, especially Ducati like I said I just love the looks of their bikes they are just so gorgeous man that that Ducati Street V4 Street Fighter it looks amazing I mean they know how to make good looking bikes and fast bikes and lightweight like they are true motorcycle enthusiasts and uh and have a passion for their bikes and I I, I love that and they'll get better man they'll get better I'm just kind of airing my grievances, a cheap man airing his grievances here, and, uh, <laughs> but anyways, guys, I appreciate all you guys, and leave a comment, uh, tell me what else you guys want me to talk about in some motor vlogs, I'd appreciate it, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my All The One Motorcycle channel, and make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, deuces. Thumbs up, check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.